Back then, this town was invisible. Before it was an ashtray stuffed with the butt ends of bad jokes and insults. Before it was the politician's punch bag or the media critic's shag bag. Before Basildon was the undeclared capital of Essex and therefore populated with shell suited Tory voting street market traders. Before that. Back then, when? No one even knew we were here. Kept ourselves to ourselves. Didn't want to fuss. Didn't make no noise. One or two had a go. Bit of a shout. Drowned out by apathy, I guess. Jez was onto it. I see that now. Something going on there. Jez is a one off, though. Not like no one else. Yeah. Jez had a crack. All right? No response. How's it going? He stared fixedly at his drink. No action, no response. Not a thought flickers. Stone me. Is this it? Flashing lights, sticky drinks, bit of a grope and then you're dead. This can't be it. They stared at him as if he was from another planet. Little did they know. It's a home improvement. It improves the home. You buy a house, you improve it, you pass it on to your kids. Life gets better, that's the deal. My old man and his old man and his before him, they never dreamed they'd own their own home. What's your granddad leave me? A pewter tankard. I'm making things better. I work, I buy the house, I improve it. I spend my life in here. What do I do? Do you know? Takes up all my time and wears me, wears me out. Well, what do I do? Forgotten. Make a mess and clear it up. Make a mess, clear it up again. Mess, clear up. Mess again. Dirty, clean. Dirty, clean. Wash cycle round and round. Where's all the mess come from? No matter how hard you work, how tidy you make it, how clean the mess comes back. Turn round once, the mess is there again, no matter how hard you try. I don't know what's happening. Says he's staying on at school. Don't see him doing much work. Thinks he's, what, going to be a drummer for a living. How many drummers do you know come from Basildon? How many anythings come from here? Name one person who's not a nothing who comes from Basildon. Last year it's a DJ he wants to be. He hasn't got a personality want to be a DJ. You have to have a personality and he just doesn't have one. This is the world he's in. DJ one year, drummer the next. What's it next year? Astronaut? No, no, we've had that already. 10-11 says he wants to be an astronaut. I said to him, you want to lower your sights a bit. How about a bus driver? You put food on his plate 17 years, you can't tell him nothing. No, look, I'm doing the shopping, really. See, I was looking before making up my mind. Made up my mind now, haven't I? There's so much choice. Don't know where to start, just breakfast things. There's so much choice. All the tastes you can have, the shapes, so much choice. I don't know what, I don't know what. There, see, I'm shopping now. See, choosing. See, so much choice. I don't know where to finish. This pack, or this pack, or this pack, all the packs. So many things you can have. Not enough time, life's too short. Can't have them all. That pack, this pack. I'll have the lot. See, do what you want, I'll have the... I'll have the... So much you can have. So much. Battersea Park. Where once there was a fun fair, there now stands a peace pergola. What's a pergola when he's at home? We went on the Big Dipper. He didn't want to, but... And as we're climbing up to the top, on the way to heaven, I thought it was, it was like we were lifting ourselves up out of the terraces and bomb sites away from the grime to somewhere more shiny. Slowly, slowly climbing, you holding my hand, me feeling like the man, and I'm thinking, this is it, this is life. We were in slow motion, not even at the top yet, and we kissed. Our first kiss, it lasted forever. And after forever, we reached the top, just sit there in a bubble over the city for a moment. I'm thinking, this is the life. 
we're only halfway there. Then we drop in seconds. Bit of a shake, rattle and roll and we're back at the bottom. And you throw up. So do I, only I chuck into me anky so you don't know. I fucking hate that school. Only stayed on as an actor of events. First day I went back to six form fucking limsips at the gate saying he doesn't want me in his class. That's when I knew it was right I was there. That's when I saw there was a purpose, a fucking reason. Sixteen years in this life, in this town, looking for something real I can hold on to and those negligent nonces finally give it to me. See? They fear me. Saw it then that day. They feel trapped in this fucking life and what they can't abide is someone who's not trapped, who's looking for a way out and they might just get it. Someone with a bit of fucking freedom. They can't stand it. Not your mum, am I? She hasn't been around years. Might look like her, talk like her, but she ain't here. Don't worry about leaving your mum behind. She's been long gone, your mum. Christ's sake, boy, go. What are you doing in the living room? This is for living in. You're fucking dead. Dead people go somewhere else. The shed, the car, the park, shops. They don't bother living people. Living people too busy in the living room doing living things like watching the telly. Go on, get out of here. Fuck off, won't you? I want to live. I want to watch the telly. The vicar said... I said he wasn't religious. Not in any way. Never has been. He said it must be hard to understand... God, he said, moves in mysterious ways. To understand, he said, that what he was really saying, for your son to be killed by a lump of concrete falling from out of the sky, apparently, since no one on their Saturday shopping would ever, ever look up instead of at the pavement, ever see such a thing. For a son, a brother, a grandson, he said, an accident to happen, one so young, that he, God, could allow it, even make it happen. He said it must be very hard to understand the purpose, he said, in all that, if it happens to be your son, your brother, your grandson. But rest assured, he said, that there is some grand purpose, that it all fits in with his God's design. And then he stuck him in an hole and went off for a cup of tea. I was confused until my brother died. Then I saw the confusion was none of my fault. The place where I grew up was a total cunt of a town. It did you down. Kept you down. Anyone who had the energy to kick back was all right by me. I mean, what's the alternative? This town will have you on the crack, the smack, the Prozac, whatever's going down, whatever is available. Fifteen years, Rod. Can't remember none of it. Birthdays. Holidays. Christmas. Gone. I'd done their washing. I cooked their meals. In a fashion. Never saw them growing, though. Were there good times? Where's the fun? Can't be all pain, can it? Come out the womb crying, don't we? Not laughing. Were they happy? Did we do all right? Rod? Basildon, I hate you, but you're a part of me. So, though I hate you, I will defend you when attacked. When some gob starts spewing rant against Essex girls, starts mouthing off about a town they've never even seen, I will defend it. Because I have to defend that bit of me that's rooted in the concrete here. If I didn't defend it, I would die. If I didn't hate it, I would die. Basildon, I hate you. Because I have the right 